Hey guys, it is meet day morning. I am about to leave and go meet my coach and my friend who is competing for breakfast and we're all gonna drive out to Amarillo together. I'm really excited. I'm also kind of anxious and nervous um, ever since I made the decision to um, compete in the 75 weight class instead of the 69. I've just kind of felt off kilter or just kind of like in limbo. Like I don't really know what I'm doing or what my vision is anymore because my vision was so specific to me competing and weightlifting and qualifying and then competing at the national level and both weightlifting and powerlifting. And so now that that is kind of up in the air, don't really have a plan. I don't really know what's gonna happen as far as uh, what all I wanna do with um, weightlifting. And, but I really love it and I really want to continue to compete and get better. Just know that it might not happen until next year now as far as like a national level meet. So yeah, that decision was really hard to make and um, it's caused me some anxiety because there were specific numbers that I really wanted to hit at this meet. But now I just want to do my best. And not having those numbers is what's kind of, I feel like, given me the anxiety because I don't have like a standard that I'm like, or like, um, yeah, I guess, yeah, standard that I'm trying to achieve or hit or whatever. And so without that goal, I just, without those numbers, without that goal, I just am having a little bit of anxiety. So I'm just going to talk to my coach on the way there. And I want him to pick all my numbers. I would like to PR, but we'll see how like my warm ups go. I'm just going to do my best to keep my mind right and to have a lot of fun. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Uh, this space is going to be really small. So um, I don't know what kind of shots I'm going to get. But I'm going to try to get some of my warm up and then all of my attempts. I did do a small water cut just because I'm a nervous Nelly. And my digestion is still giving me trouble. And I like some days I retain a lot of water. Some days I don't. Especially since I just went to Rio Desso for the weekend. And had pizza and burgers and all of that stuff that I hadn't been having for weeks. And so I just did a small water cut and just to be sure so I would be able to um, eat breakfast and drink some water this morning and not worry about it. But I will have like Gatorade and stuff after the weigh-in just to make sure I'm not dehydrated. And yeah, so we are going to go. So let's have a good time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Take this for now. Three plus three. I know. I know. Yeah, they are. You wipe your feet you you know, on the rubber, it should help a little bit.
Like, oh, it's my turn. <laughs>
Go to work. Really? Yes. Good job. Be there at seven. Yeah. So we gotta hurry. The nice aside. It was a lot more fun too with all the people. I know it was like really crazy in the back, but it was yeah. still a lot more fun. Yeah, it was fun. Nice. Yeah, I just gotta work on that crashing. Yeah, that dip too. Mm -hmm. Being more consistent. I just needed you a lot of jerks. Yeah. <clears throat> little cleans. Yeah, it's really crashing on the uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it crashed on you uh -huh. a little bit. You rushed it. Yeah. Recovery. That was good though. Let's watch that last one. Again. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I mean, you threw it. I high. did. I just didn't drop. Look at how high you threw it. Yeah. I think, yeah. I feel like that clean kind of got in your head a little bit. Yeah. Okay, 
so I'm back in my house and I'm about to leave to go get Tanner because he is getting home right now too. So I'm so excited to see him. And I only went, only made three of my attempts out of six at the meet. I went for 71 on snatch, missed it. 71 again, made it. 76, missed it. <clears throat> 76 was like perfect. I just pulled so hard. Um, the bar crushed on me whenever I went to catch and I dropped it. Well, I didn't drop it. My arms bent really bad, so I dropped it. So my best on snatch in the gym is 79 and I only hit 71. So meet PR, yes, but I didn't make any like PR PRs, I guess. And then for a clean and jerk, I went 83 made it, 87 made it, 93 missed the jerk. And my 93, I know you probably just saw, I don't know if I'll put this before or after the videos, but either way, that third attempt clean is so funny. Like every time I watch it, I cannot help but laugh. But I'm so happy that I ended up making the decision to compete in the 75 and not 69 because with how this meet went, I had so much fun. Um, there was so many girls, I wasn't expecting this meet to be so much bigger than the last one at this location. Um, but there were so many girls and it was so much fun and I'm happy with how I did. Like, and I didn't even do that great. <laughs> like, I am so happy, I'm so excited that it's done and I'm ready to celebrate, I'm ready for Tanner to be home, I'm ready to set some new goals and figure out my vision since it's all messed up like I said earlier. But. I just know, like I'm so enthralled and happy just knowing that if I had tried to compete in the 79 and had made the had made weight and had done this meet and performed how I did today, I would be so brokenhearted and furious and mad and upset right now because I hit um, 71 and 87 and if I had made the 69 class and tried to qualify for nationals, like my plan was, um, I would have needed to hit 80 and 100. So I was a little off. Um, competing at the meet is way different than maxing out in the gym. Maxing out in the gym, usually there's not people sitting right in front of me. And there's not people all around watching. And so it's just a, what's it? A whole different monster well I don't know what the saying is but it's just a whole different thing and so I'm just so happy to have the experience and the practice and I'm really excited to compete again sometime whenever I pick my next meet but um for now April is just gonna be uh hoopla of everything I'm gonna do uh like bodybuilding style stuff I'll do, um, <clears throat> weightlifting stuff and I'll start putting some powerlifting stuff back in and I might try some like gymnastics, crossfit stuff and I just want to have fun for a month because later in the summer, I'm, well it's not summer yet, it's spring, but in the summer starting in July I'm going to have to start focusing on powerlifting. But for now, I just want to have some fun and so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go get Tanner and we're going to have a uh, make dinner. And have a great night and probably go to Pie Bar. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I love you guys so much and thank you for supporting me. Hit that like and go to YouTube and subscribe, especially if you're watching on Facebook or something. Go to YouTube, log in so you can subscribe. Awesome. Thanks so much. Have a great night. I'm going to. Bye.